I have a really, um, a really cool, this is Dollar Tree, guys. It came just like this with the beads and it says happily ever after. So I'm assuming they're, um, it's for a wedding, something like that. So I picked this up. We're going to do a complete makeover of this. All right. And so I have happily ever after and I turned it over and I just flipped these little things up and the board comes right out. Okay. I, the board was that brown cardboard looking color. I went ahead and painted it with the Waverly, I did to put that lid on, Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. It's an off-white chalk paint, okay? So I've got that. I've got lots of antique bronze totally dazzled that we're going to use. I also have this amazing paper from European Excellence. See, look at those little vintage bunnies. Isn't this cute? This is rice paper. We're going to use this and we're going to use sorry silk. So we are going to Pull this out. I'm going to move my sorry silk over. I'm going to use Mod Podge and we're going to take the little bunny. And this is the one I want to use. Right I'm going to cut it because I don't want, I want to be able to feather the edges, but I want to try to use that bunny also. So, I'm just going to cut around it. For the edges, you can put it down just like this. But I want to show you the difference. I want to show you the difference. If I put it down just like this, see how you can see those sharp edges? I'm going to get this wet. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get that wet. And I'm going to just start tearing away. See how it's feathering that edge. Look how cute that little bunny is, you guys! Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint this frame. And guys, I'm gonna paint this frame kind of crazy. I'm gonna do a coat of the plaster chalk paint, okay? This is, it's called, the color is plaster and it's Waverly chalk paint. It is kind of a creamy off-white color. bring this over here while this dries and we're gonna Mod Podge this and I love rice paper because you can position it you can lift it up and position it I'm taking a dry chip brush I'm going to place it down where I want it. Okay. Now I'm going to take some more Mod Podge. I'm going to go over the top of this. Got it. So this is our piece. Okay. We're going to set this to the side. This is going to dry. I'm going to do a little bit of home decor chalk paint. This is by Folk Art. This is called Summer Porch. This is actually one of my favorite yellows. And then I have agave. Okay. And this is agave 
Waverly chalk paint. So I've got the agave and the yellow. Okay. I'm gonna just put a little bit. Well, I said a little bit, but there we go. Okay, got a little bit of that there. I'm gonna take this chip brush and I am going to paint these beads while they're right here on the string. It's okay that they are not solid. We're gonna kind of play with these. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a wet rub of the agave on these. We'll see, okay? Um, I might just like them whitewashed, to be honest. I'm kind of looking at them, thinking I might just like them. Thank you, thank you for spreading the love. I know I love the beads on these frames too. Guys, this is at the Dollar Tree. This was at the Dollar Tree. They are stepping up their game. I don't go to the Dollar Tree really very often. But the things I've seen recently there have been pretty good. And it seems like they kind of step up their game for spring. Does anyone else feel that way? Okay. I'm going to leave these for a minute to dry. Let me make sure I got... Let me wipe my hand on a baby wipe. I want to look at you when I'm telling you this. I don't want this to look perfect. I want it to look rough. And... Um, I want it to look imperfect because I want it to look vintage, okay? And so we're gonna paint on it and then I'm gonna come back over it with a little bit of the antique wax from Waverly. Okay. So I'm gonna start on one side. I'm going to take my yellow. I'm gonna go right in the middle, okay? And I'm gonna do it like this. I'm not measuring. No, guys, if this kills your OCD to not measure, to not have the perfect lines, measure it. Measure it. You do you. Okay? You do you. You do. Look at how cute this would be with some lemons in it. If we did lemons, wouldn't that be cute? Okay, I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna use the same brush on my agave. Okay, and let's see. I think I'm gonna use it like this. Let's dry this with our heat tool. All right, I have a little bit of sandpaper here. I'm gonna take this sandpaper and I'm just gonna sand it just a little bit. This is what it looks like so far. Now we're gonna take a baby wipe. And I like to wring out the excess liquid, okay, from a baby wipe because for me, for staining them, they're just a little bit too wet. So I'm, I'm just wringing it out in my trash can. So I just gave it one good wring. It's still wet. It's just not, it's damp. It's just not wet, wet. Okay, I've got my
antique wax on my deal. I'm going to actually rub it off on my paper over here. Okay? Kind of rubbing it off. And now I'm going to start to rub it on my... Oh, I love it. Now I'm going to take the same cloth I'm gonna put this wax lasts forever guys and I'm gonna fold it in on itself and I'm gonna kind of bring it together see how it does now I'm gonna take these beads and I'm just gonna start rubbing this cloth on these beads okay I've got my gold on my brush. Guys, this is the pigment with the pigment infuser that I use. This is the pale gold. It's a posh chalk product. I'm going to unload this brush with the majority of the gold. In fact, let me just do it on this. I'm going to unload the gold on this brush. Okay. And we will do this on the beads. <clears throat> okay. Oh yeah, the gold. Look at the difference it makes in those beads. I'm going to do a little gold. I think, I think it kind of looks like a little bit of an antique. Oh yeah, you can see it now. Gosh, y'all, I'm kind of tempted to put a little bit of gold in this. doing it. Let's see. Let's see it. I'm going to do a light dusting. Now the Mod Podge on this probably almost dry. Let's put our picture frame <clears throat> down. We're gonna put our picture in here, just like this. And actually, if I wanted to, I could put something on this and flip it and use it for other than Easter too. So this is what we have so far. I've got Sorry Silk, whoops. You guys, sorry, silk. Um, I get mine on Amazon. It's in my. I used to make flowers and stuff out of it too. I like to tear it down if it's thick. So this is all I'm going to use right here. I'm just going to work this bow around. Like this. Okay. So this is what I've got. Okay. I'm going to take this side. Go ahead and cut that. So now I've got my tails, right? And if you look, you can pull all these. 
these pieces apart up here to make a fuller bow. I'm going to put a dollop of hot glue right there. We'll let this cool. By finishing a piece would totally dazzle. So this is precious, right? Guys. This is gonna be so cute. Look at it. Isn't it the cutest little thing? Totally Dazzled sells sparkling rhinestone wedding supplies. Check us out at totallydazzled.com. But before you do, click up here and download our free printable sparkle quotes or click down here and watch one of our other awesome tutorials.